Ever since Diesel had been sent to the scrapyard, he had been very quiet. Not a peep of teasing or snarling had come through. He did his work, but seemed very shy when it came to talking to the other engines. Even the ironworks Diesel had seen a change in him. He doesn't like to talk to us much. No, not for a while. Not about scrapping or being revolutionary. It's just a silent treatment. All in all, the engines were quite suspicious of what devious Diesel was up to next. One afternoon, Diesel had bought a train of scrap to Wellsworth. Edward saw him and thought he'd say hello. Diesel, good to see you. Gah! Oh, Edward, you scared the life out of me. I see. Anyways, I have to dash. The ironworks need me. But you don't have to leave for another 30 minutes. Well, that doesn't mean I can't get moving. Diesel, wait! I'm sorry, did I start something? Diesel stopped. Edward, leave me alone! I don't want to talk about it! Diesel, calm down. I'm right here. Please, tell me what's up. Diesel started to look very sick. It's... it's not nice to talk about. I promise I won't tell anyone. Even my siblings? Even your siblings. Diesel took a deep breath and started. All right. Let me tell you about the most horrific night of my life. So Diesel began his story. Diesel had been naughty one too many times on Sodor. His most recent endeavor was trying to pull a train big enough for Henry and proving he was not good enough to be a dockside Diesel, which prompted Sir Tom Hatt to get another engine instead. Diesel had been sent back home in disgrace, and he despised it. He told the others what he thought. Pathetic! That railway is filled with useless old kettles who get their own programs and movies anyways. We are far superior than them. We are modern. Revolutionary. Yes, even with those new high-speed engines, we still are far superior. Just then, the yard manager came up. Who are you? Who? Me? Yes, you. Listen. Try and truck to be taken back to the scrapyards. You'll arrive at dark, then come here very early in the morning tomorrow. Get a move on. With pleasure. And Diesel began his journey. Nightfall came. He arrived at the scrapyards. For some reason, Diesel felt uncomfortable. He had been here many nights before, but this night fell off. Ah, oh, finally those trucks from Bridlington arrived. Put them in the second farthest siding and be off with you. Diesel was quite confused. Surely people like to see me. I'm still revolutionary, aren't I? He let the trucks in the siding. He was just about to go when he looked at an old shed. There looked to be an engine, ready for scrap. Diesel couldn't see properly at first, but then he looked closer and gasped. There was one of his siblings, ready to be scrapped. Hey, you. How? I... what? I know. Shocking. Lost for words, even. Listen, buddy. We may be revolutionary, but we are all getting older. Dieselization was so long ago. Now people are making these high-speed engines and electric locomotives. It, it may look like we will last forever, but, but one day, there will be a come when we aren't the future. We will all be replaced with something new one day. But we are revolutionary, right? For our time, yes, but there isn't much of a need for shunters. These high-speed trains don't need as much shunting for their coaches. My advice to you, though, is live your life to the fullest. You don't know when your life will come to an end. Just then, some men came. Get to work, one said. Then, 
Diesel watched through a small window outside the shed in horror as the diesel was cut up into pieces, smaller and smaller, till all that was left on the rails were his wheels. Diesel was so distraught he nearly began to cry. He left the scrapyards that night a very different ending. After that night, Diesel's work ethic began to drop. He was much slower than usual, and he seemed distracted from shunting. The yard manager wasn't too pleased. One day, Sir Topham Hatt came to the yard to see the yard manager. Diesel overheard their conversation. This might sound strange, but I would like to buy Diesel. Why him? He screwed up on your railway and you didn't want him anymore, right? Well, Diesel has become very popular on my railway. Ever since he was introduced to the television program about us, children have wanted to see him. So, how about it? Yeah, sure. He's literally the worst performer in my yards right now, so... Great. Diesel, you're coming with me. I honestly couldn't believe it. The man who I thought hated me was going to buy me. When he did, I was bought to the island and... And... Yeah... Diesel, that's an absolutely horrible thing to go through. I'm terribly sorry. How long has it been since you've talked about it? I've never said anything about it. I've tried to forget it, but after I screwed up the cement works, I... I just... It, it hit me. Edward, can we talk again? I really feel like you're the only one who cares about me right now. Of course. Come see me anytime. I'll listen. With that, Diesel put on a brave face and rolled away. It's going to be a long road for recovery, Brian. Edward thought. Thank you.